everybody. Welcome to the RV Optimizer channel. Uh, my name's Jeff. Uh, I'll be your tour guide today. And this thing behind me, this is the new 2023 Airstream Atlas Touring Coach. And we're gonna take you through it today. Uh, I'm not gonna open up all drawers and stuff. You guys know what drawers look like on the inside. But I am gonna work off of this build sheet I have here of all the components, uh, features, benefits that are in this thing and highlight a few that uh, I think are unique to this particular RV um, that you won't find in most. Um, this thing kind of falls between that B plus and C class RV. So we're gonna be talking about the things that make it stand out within those classes. So let's get going on this. So Airstream utilizes the Mercedes uh, chassis on this and they try to integrate Mercedes into a lot of different aspects of this vehicle. Uh, this one comes with, uh, it's a V6 turbo diesel engine in it, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, they estimate 16 to 18 uh, miles per gallon on the highway. It is uh, just under 25 feet long, uh, 7 foot 11 inches wide. Uh, it has multiple tanks on it, as you can imagine, fresh water, gray water, black tanks, propane tanks, um, and the diesel tank as well. So um, those are all heated tanks, by the way, too. So if you find yourself in cold weather, uh, those tanks all have heaters on them to keep them from freezing. One of the things that Airstream prides himself on is trying to keep it, uh, this thing in a similar uh, look as those trailers that you see going down the road that are all the shiny aluminum. And so this thing comes with one option for colors and this is it, silver. As you'll notice, they try to keep this thing extremely clean and streamlined as you look around it. One thing you'll notice, uh, there aren't any hatches, latches on any of the compartments underneath. Uh, those are all operated from your key fob. The only one that actually has a latch on it is this back one where they call kind of a golf bag uh, area where you can put uh, uh, your golf bag in there and it kind of goes way up inside. But the rest of these, um, you open up from your key fob, so you can just lift them up as you go through and, uh, and access the things in there. So you can see here, this one has the uh, generator behind it. This is a diesel generator. Uh, the interesting thing about this is it runs off your fuel tank, and so you don't have a separate uh, propane tank or something that you have to uh, keep track of for this one. The other thing to note, right here on the side, that's where the refrigerator is right behind it. And on most RVs, you would have multiple vents to uh, vent out the heat that the propane refrigerators generate. Uh, this one has an electric marine type fridge on it, so there are no uh, vents here and uh, to go along and keep everything streamlined. See here from the back of the RV, uh, they actually even cover up the hitch there, so uh, you don't have to look at a, that if you don't want to. Uh, they do a really nice job putting the Mercedes logo and building it into there. Uh, this one has a camera in the back that's on all the time. I'll show you that in the front. Uh, it also is kind of cool because it has cameras built into the side rear view mirrors uh, as well. And I'll show you that when we get inside. You can see here I have the push out out. And the thing to note here is the uh, containers or the storage containers come with that as you push it out. So um, you don't have to reach underneath there to open them. Um, you just pull it out right from here. And uh, this one is a uh, multiple storage area that covers and keeps it there. You can see uh, the Apollo rims that come with this, the chrome package that they put on here. Looks very slick. And I gotta say, uh, even though you don't get a choice here on color options, uh, this silver really it looks nice. Uh, they put 15 coats of paint on here, what they call a buff and cut. So they paint, uh, sand it, buff it, and then uh, put another coat on, and they do a really nice job. It looks great. The other thing to note is these covers for your awnings that come out when you're push out. And a lot of them, you'll see the, the, the awning exposed, the fabric, uh, to all the weather. And this kind of rolls it up into that neat little uh, container there to keep it uh, somewhat under control as you're driving down the road. Uh, they also have little lights uh, embedded up into the, the, the wells up here. When you open up the doors, they shine straight down on that which is kind of cool. Opening up the rear compartment, uh, you see where we have our, uh, out water, our outside shower, but you also have all your power controls on this back end where you can put your water, um, your water for your cleaning out your black tanks. Uh, it also has a macerator on it. Uh, 
at a power reel. So you just push a button and it all reels back in. You don't have that big three inch uh, uh, hose to kind of lug around and figure out. Uh, they also have what they call for the power side, a smart lock. And the smart lock, um, basically unlike everything else that you have to kind of put in and turn and twist, this has two prongs, you just push it right in and uh, supposedly it's much cleaner in power and it generates a lot less heat. You can see how they uh, put a spoiler package on the front here a little bit. Uh, even says Airstream right there on it. Um, kind of a, a nice little add to the uh, Mercedes Sprinter van front end there. This does have solar on it. It's actually got multiple panels on the top, 400 watts in total. 300 of those actually operate and uh, generate power for the coach batteries. And one of those panels, 100 watts, actually goes to the chassis battery, uh, which I think is kind of cool to kind of keep both of those charged so you don't find yourself um, in trouble anywhere. It also comes with air suspension uh, on the rear, rear only, but it uh, actually is used as a way to level the coach as well when you're in parking places. This doesn't have uh, the typical hydraulic jacks on the bottom. Uh, this has stabilizer jacks and um, uh, when those are down it's just do nothing but that to keep the thing from rocking back and forth and so you can use the air suspension to level it out a little bit and then the cool thing with the kind of a fridge that's in here it doesn't have to be level for the fridge to work a lot of rvs uh, you have to have it level for the propane fridges to work correctly and because this is a marine grade electric one that's not a concern on this one at all it's got the big awning that come out. It's three arms on it um, that come out and uh, it is um, a wind sensor on it as well. So if, uh, if you have big gust, it's going to kind of push itself back in for you automatically. So let's go inside here and I'll show you the other thing that they kind of pride themselves on is how these, uh, how these steps open up. So when you open up the door, you see this kind of just unfolds here for you. And the, the big difference there is a lot of the RVs have the steps and the first step inside is still integrated into the step. This one is not. So they, you kind of keep that space when you walk in of not having that step well to fall into. So when you walk on in, you see I've got the, this, one of the seats turned around. Both of them um, come all the way around. You've got a, a table that you can put there right in front of it. Uh, turn the seats around and you know, work on a computer, have dinner there. Uh, you can see it's got uh, all the Mercedes uh, infotainment system in here. Um, we'll go into that more in just a minute. Um, you can see up here, it's got, uh, it's actually got four of these touch panels throughout the coach. You know, basically you can do just about everything from these things and they all operate the same way. So your house shows you all of your uh, tanks, your fresh, your gray, your black, your propane. You can turn on your tank heaters from here. Uh, it's a cool autofill feature that uh, when you plug your hose in, uh, you can hit autofill automatically, will stop and not overfill anything. Um, and also your water pump can be turned on from here. You can see your two batteries, um, how the uh, lithium ion batteries on this. Um, this one manages your coach, shows you there and your chassis. Um, you can see how you have master lights. Your awning can be extended here. You can see your temperature have all your light controls here as well. Automatic generator start systems, so you can have this thing uh, start for you, uh, the generator start up. If your voltage gets so low in your batteries, automatically have the generator start, recharge those. Same thing for temperature, if it gets too hot, too cold, if you set what that is, uh, the generator start up to turn your AC or your heat on uh, to keep that. A lot of times if you have pets, that's important. Um, then you get to your temperature controls here. Um, you have not only uh, AC, but you have a heat pump as well as the furnace. And you can do that in auto mode, set your temperature and let that take care of everything for you. Uh, and then everything on here is power. So not only can you uh, do the shades, um, the slide out, you can see here that uh, you've got your awning. You have a skylight that I'll show you here. Um, and you can even lift your TV, but um, I'll show you here how you have the skylight. It's all automatic and opening up for you. Very cool. Actually, the other thing that's kind of cool over here too is 
your, uh, your TV slide out or bump out, if you will. So you can press one button and that TV will come on up with a nice sound bar on top. So you can just sit here on your, your couch and watch a 40 inch smart TV, um, which I think is also very cool. And I'm telling you the fit and finish, what Airstream puts in here is just really top notch. Um, come in, you've got your uh, nice sofa here. You can pull your armrest down here. You've got a nice tabletop on top of there. You've got kind of the Airstream riveted uh, this is a mirror, but they're what they do in their trailers with the windows. This comes down. This is your Murphy bed. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's scroll around and see the rest of the layout in here. So you see, and we go into the kitchen area. You've got a propane stove here. I don't know what to feel about that versus an induction cooktop. They kind of built in a little uh, trash can or ice bin, however you'd like to use that. You've got shades here that you can do a, a daytime or a nighttime shade. Another touch screen over here. A lot of cabinet space. This is the fridge I was talking about. So you've got uh, your marine fridge and freezer on the bottom. And on top of that, you have a microwave, conventional cook, smart air fryer, and a dehydrator function. I, it does everything, I guess. Throughout that, you've got um, smart fans, on the top up here, you've got one in the kitchen area, one in the bathroom. You can set those with temperature controls, the rain sensors, so they automatically will close if you need to. Going into the bathroom area here. This is beautiful. Big shower, inlaid teak wood. Get your commode towels, container above it, and the other fan. A nice little sink there again, their aluminum finish in here. And uh, I told you we're just going to open up all the cupboards, but I will open up this one. All the cabinets back here are cedar lined, which is really kind of cool. They all have lighting inside that you can turn on or off, or it's motion sensor as well. You've got your hot water tank back here and another LED display. When you close the door in the bathroom, you can see Airstream also put one of their riveted uh, lights or windows in the door there for you. You've got a little handle you push down, and this opens that back up to be able to store it to go down the road. You can see on the ceiling here, they've also embedded their aluminum just like on their trailers, kind of keep that feel. It's uh, AC and heat ducted through the entire coach, which is also pretty cool. And they have uh, this extra sound system in the back here. So you can see the sound bar for that. And the extra stereo for the back coach is right there. If you open this little container up, you can see here you've got uh, AC connections, you've got cable wires to hook up for your TV. So you can hook up anything HDMI here, laptops, iPads, uh, game centers that then will still run off of your TV. Next to this area, next to your home screen, your touch screen, you have kind of the command center here, if you will, where all of your other controls that you can do, the majority of all of them from your touch screen, but all live here as well. So if, uh, if you did lose your touch screens for whatever reason, um, you could always go here, but you have your power system set up here. This also will monitor all your, your battery and your fresh water and uh, how much uh, you have in each of those. And uh, 
gives you that. You have your inverter here. Uh, it's a thousand watt inverter that comes with this. You have your ability to turn on your generator from here uh, and or off to get things to happen. This tells you how much power you're getting from your solar system. This is where you can turn on your heaters for your batteries. They have two 100 uh, amp hour lithium ion batteries in this coach. And uh, when it gets to that freezing level, you need to turn these heaters on and it will rotate. Those heaters will keep those batteries between 35 and 45 degrees and then it'll turn the heater back off its own. Um, and then when it gets back to that freezing level, 35 degrees or so, it turns the heaters back on on its own. So really no issue by really keeping that on uh, when you're out and about, especially if you're in the, the cooler weather like that. You have your stabilizers here that you can turn off and then your button for your actual slide out where the couch goes out. So as you look at the couch area here, you can see a number of controls on the side here. You've got, um, you've got foot controls here that uh, will go out where you can kick back and relax that way. And you've got the button here um, that will basically fold the whole sofa down for you. So when that down um, and you pull one of the levers on the side here and then grab it from the top, this whole piece actually comes down and this is a, a pretty good sized bed, a 72 by 72 inch bed. Uh, and let me see if I can grab it down here. And this whole thing opens up basically. Um, you have more window per uh, shades and uh, USB and nighttime lights and all kinds of good stuff here. So sitting in the cockpit here, Mercedes puts all their safety stuff on these things. So. Airstream gets them with side airbags, um, your adaptive cruise control, um, they have a wind sensor in there, a number of things that help uh, make the RV driving a little bit more enjoyable. Um, you can do a lot of stuff all from your steering wheel. Um, so like you have uh, on this side, everything here operates what's in the center. Everything on this side basically operates what's on your screen over there in the middle your big 10 inch screen there. So for example, if I, uh, if I click here on the service side, um, it will then roll through and show me my engine oil level. Um, it will show me uh, my DEF, which is your diesel emissions uh, uh, level of how much oil you have in there that you have to add. And it'll, uh, you can see a little red line there. If it gets below halfway, it, uh, it's gonna yell at you because it doesn't want that to be the case at all. Um, can scroll through your driver assist sections. This is where you would set up the distance between you and the cars in front of you for your adaptive cruise control, which I highly recommend. It's very cool. Trip, navigation, you can see your radio controls in here, um, even set up your phone, things like that. So pretty cool from the main menu there and then over to the side. Obviously you can uh, uh, do your navigation, radio settings. Um, you can look at different settings for the vehicle and set up some of those safety items you can turn on and off. The interesting thing is you turn them off once you turn the vehicle off and you turn it back on, they all go back to the default settings there. You have your AC down here. And the other thing that's kind of cool that a lot don't have is you can see this little indicator here, it's flashing red because I turned the engine on and it's trying to tell you that something uh, is wrong and you need to check it before you leave. So in this case I have the stabilizers down and I have the push out out still and it's trying to tell me um, you can't leave yet with those things out not all the RV companies do that so pretty cool and helpful in the middle up here you've got a uh, place where you can put a wireless or your phone in here to do wireless charging and a couple different connectors uh, the other thing that's kind of nice is uh, they put these other components on this side and actually on the passenger side as well and the other Sprinter vans a lot of times they don't do that those are just big open spaces there I talked to you a little bit about the, uh, the uh, camera. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is gonna come out here, but uh, you can see how it's on for um, what's behind me right now. And if I turn the turn signal on, you can see how it's gonna show me what's down the sides, um, which is really helpful to have when you're in these things. And lastly, we talk about Airstream support and warranty and so forth. They have a, 
a three-year, 24-7 roadside assistance that comes with this vehicle. Um, you also get from Airstream three years or 36,000 mile warranty on the coach itself. And then Mercedes gives you a warranty uh, three years, 36 on the, uh, uh, the chassis itself and five years or 100,000 miles on the engine and so forth. So overall, very impressive vehicle. Um, yes, it's pricey, um, but as you look really close, I think, at what Airstream puts on this vehicle and compare the quality uh, to this to others. Uh, I always say there's that superficial feel that some RVs you go in, they, they, they look good initially, and then you get in there and you find out that it's all particle board and things are falling apart on you as you get on the road and so forth. And uh, man, I just don't think that's the case with this one, at least my experience so far. It drives down the road awesome. Uh, there's no wind noise, nothing's rattling in the back. Uh, it's just a great feeling and a great experience when you're driving down the road in this. And it's just big enough to be able to pull into uh, your RV spot, hook up, and if you need to run down the road, you can do that real quick with something like this size. So well, I hope you found this uh, quick overview of the Airstream Atlas helpful. Um, it's quite the rig. Um, so before you leave, don't forget, I have two uh, links down at the bottom here that are some deals for you. One on Harvest Host, uh, pretty cool uh, savings that you can get to when you go in there and check out all the different wineries and breweries around the country that you can actually stay at for free. Uh, and then the L1 RV Life, where it's a great way to plot out your entire destination through that mapping tool. So until we see you next time, thanks and uh, happy travels.